Oh, right, YouTubers, welcome back to World of Warships with the Angry Nerd. And this is the Svetlana, the Tier 4 Russian cruiser. Let's take a quick look at her. Concealment. She can be detected from the surface at 9.6 kilometers and from the air at 6 kilometers. Maneuverability. 29 knots maximum speed, turning circle radius 590 meters, rudder shift time 7.2 seconds. Air defenses, not much to speak of, 4 times 145 millimeters. Uh, torpedoes, she has very nice torpedoes. Um, she has four three tube launchers. And they contain 450 millimeter um, torpedoes. They have a range of 5 kilometers and a speed of 52 knots. Artillery 15 130 millimeter howitzers that fire out to a maximum range of 11.3 kilometers. And survivability, as she's currently configured, 24,600. So, let's close these down, but we're going to take a look at these torpedoes, or the launchers. Now, this is the launcher that is amidships. There's one more on each side. And what makes this ship really nice is this um, set of torpedo launchers here in the back has a really really nice firing arc you can um, launch torpedoes oh I want to say almost to the front but I mean you get at an angle like this and you can put those torpedoes out so that makes um, this ship really nice for attacking with torpedoes. So let's take a quick look at um, the modules. When you first get the Svetlana, she will have hull A and it will only have 22,100 hit points. Um, that's minus two for survivability, minus two for artillery, minus one air defense, minus three maneuverability, and minus one um, concealment over hull B, or under hull B. There is a main battery modification. When you first get the ship, you'll have um, model 1913. It has a reload time of nine seconds, a 180 degree turn time of 36 seconds. The modification will get that uh, 180 degree turn time down to 25 seconds. And the ship still, even though it has guns all over the side of it, it if you're turning really sharp, it is still um, difficult to keep the guns on target. There are numerous occasions when I've had to stop turning to be able to shoot and then continue the turn as I was reloading. Gun fire control system. Uh, mod 1 will allow you to fire out to 10.2 kilometers and mod 2 11.3. There is no propulsion upgrade and there's also no torpedo upgrade. Um, I have torpedo tube modification number one selected and a propulsion modification. I cannot recommend enough that you get, excuse me, um, the propulsion modification. This ship gets its engine knocked out so incredibly easy. Um, we'll discuss that a little bit later. But yeah, while we're here, you should really get the propulsion 
modification. Let's take a look at the exterior. Um, the four standard camouflages to choose from I have selected to go with the Type 5, which is minus 3 to detectability range and minus 4 to firing accuracy. Signal flags. We are flying um, Juliet Charlie, which is minus 100% to the risk of your ship's magazine being detonated. We are also flying India Bravo Terahi. Um, minus 10% to the cost of the ship's post-battle repair. And we're flying equal speed Charlie, which is plus 50% to XP. Those are the flags that we will be flying. Now let's take a look at the commander skills. Um, as I have it set up right now, I selected first the situational awareness. I have basics of survivability, basic firing training, expert loader, fire prevention, high alert. Now, I, because the guns on the Svetlana, let me make sure I'm not saying this wrong. Um, they're 130 millimeters. Um, I was going to go for advanced firing training, which gives you plus 20% to the firing range of main battery guns with a caliber up to 139 millimeters. So the Svetlana could benefit from this and you know if I accumulate four more points I might do that but I had to go back and I I can't recommend this enough for this ship that you get the last stand the engine on this ship is so weak it gets knocked out so much and the last stand is it allows your ship to maneuver and go, although at a penalty, uh, even if your engine has been knocked out. Let me read what it says. When the engine or steering gears are incapacitated, they continue to operate, but with a penalty. The ship remains able to move and maneuver while the engine or steering gears are incapacitated. So you won't go as fast, you won't turn as sharp, but it will allow you to um, move and turn a little bit. Could give you enough time to get behind an island or something to save yourself. But the um, engine on this is so weak. Let's take a look at a quick video, a little snippet of a game that I had and let me show you um, what um, I've been dealing with with the Svetlana. Stand by. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. This is another game that I played here on straight in the Svetlana. As you can see, i got a Karlsruhe directly in front of me. So, I am, sh I am straight on to him. And, uh, I'm getting ready to engage him and uh, he fires a salvo knocks my engine out so I immediately repair my engine and he knocks my engine out again now I'm dead in the water for over a minute. Now, I'm also taking fire from other places in the map. Uh, this Karlsruhe is not going to survive this encounter, but I'm not going to survive it either. And this is the kind of thing I was talking about um, with the, Svet the Svetlana 
and the engine. If you don't have um, these upgrades, um, you need to make sure you get it because this Svetlana's engine is very, very weak. So, yeah, let's head back to the garage before I die. I'm dying anyway. Here we go. Okay, so, whoo, you could see twice in a row. I mean, knocked out, knocked out again immediately. Um, the ship really gets its engine knocked out a lot. So, I do recommend Last Stand. Um, if I get uh, enough points, but I don't think, I'm not going to, I'm going to transfer this commander up to the, is it, Kirov let's take a look at the tree yeah I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong but yeah I'm gonna transfer the commander up maybe I won't I don't know I, I, I haven't decided yet uh, probably will but uh yeah let's uh hop into a game and uh see what I was able to do with the Svetlana. Here we go. Alright, looks like we picked up Big Race. And as you can see, I'm pink. Yeah. Let me explain. Um, there were, I was in the game before last. There was a Omaha who was on such low health, just a slither of health. And he turned in front of me, and I ran into him, and he died, and now I'm pink. How lovely is that? I swear. But, anyway, um, looks like we got some pretty decent matchmaking. We're in a tier 4 game, so let's go ahead and hit that b battle button. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's not what it seems, fellas. All right, we are not going to head um, straight up. I am going to turn off to the left. And somebody says, LOL, I feel you, angry nerd. You are a blue falcon. <laughs> I have no idea what you are a blue falcon means. If you know, let me know in the comments section. And somebody else says, don't worry, every game I had a pink guy, we won. It's a good omen. Well, I hope so. Okay, so we're going to head down south for now and then come back up toward the big island somebody says he's not answering so watch him guess i'm gonna need to uh, explain myself here in a second as to what happened somebody wants to know what does pink mean team killer I need to explain myself before I catch a friendly torp or something. <laughs> there we go. All right. So there's a Wakataki over there. There's a big group of ships off to the straight north um, from me. Like I say, I'm heading over southwest, or to the west. I'm going to come up through there. We've got three destroyers over there, and a... Hold on. Is that the Japanese battleship there? 
we've just lost a cruiser a wakataki over there and a half health one right there oh I thought he was on the other side of the island I could have been shooting at him let's see are those gonna get him? no How about these? I don't think those are getting anybody either. All right. So we're going as fast as we can. We're doing 26 and a half knots, but still taking forever to get over here one of our destroyers is in a little cat fight with an enemy destroyer it's a Clemson and I think he's going against the Wakataki there and he lost but the Wakataki has run aground and I missed him. So I had to shoot over that hill. Let's try this. Are those going to get him? Get him for a little bit, not much. Hit him again. Come on. There we go. Oh, a St. Louis. <laughs> oh. oh, I know that battleship is mad. Sorry, dude. Okay, we got a South Carolina coming through. Yubari over there and a uh, enemy Wakataki. Let's see if I can get this guy. Hope he turned. Come on. Nope. Enemy Clipson. Missed him. I want to attack the South Carolina, but I also want to attack the Clemson. And to tell you the truth, I'm more worried about the Clemson right now than I am the South Carolina. The South Carolina is gone. Turn, baby, turn. Got a couple of hits. A couple of more hits. Reload guns. More torpedoes coming at me. Let's go. Holy. Can I dodge it? There we go. This ought to do it. There we go. Okay. Hopefully you didn't get off any more torps. Okay. Let's start heading east. We got an enemy ship in our cap. 
that's no good. It is a Yubari. He's in gun range. It's just behind the island. Oh, he took a big hit from something. Oh, he's gone. That didn't take long at all. Somebody cleared that cap quick. Okay. Wyoming there. But, uh... He's got a South Carolina coming in behind him. And that is a big old open spot. And uh, I'll start getting detected around 9 kilometers. So, I don't want to go against these three ships. On a death run just yet with all of that open ground to cover. Yeah, see, they're already firing at me and set me on fire. No, I set him on fire. Try to get off one spread of torpedoes. Just in case. Oh, don't hit me and sink, please. Okay, let's see. Maybe that Aurora, four kilometers, that's torpedo range. Let's go. And the Wyoming's in four. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Can I survive a kamikaze run on these two ships? Come on. Alright, we got that one. Come on. Come on. Oh, crud. Okay, we got that one. Uh, this is bad. This is bad. I probably should have continued on with the attack toward them but uh I can't afford to turn around and go after them now Let's just see if I can get out of here oh man 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 I'm going to be behind this island from the Wyoming, but this South Carolina is still, still getting me. Dang it. Oh, did he change and start shooting at somebody else? Oh. That's lucky, lucky. Go, 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 go. They took the Wyoming out. Just the South Carolina left. Oh! Goodness. Just one of those would have done me in. Just to give you a parting shot as I go and hide. Here we go. Okay. 
well, I can hang out over here and survive, or I can turn left and I try to get a couple more shots in. Yeah, we're going to go left. <laughs> Oh, dummy, dummy, dummy. Oh, wait. No, he's dead. Woo! We are so lucky to have survived that. I was running for my life. I, I just knew uh, I was going to Davy Jones Locker on that one. I wasn't expecting those last two ships uh, to come in there. But, uh... We made it, we made it by the skin of our teeth. We received 128,910 um, credits, 1,583 XP, um, 80 free XP. We unleashed the Kraken and had a devastating strike. We had 46 gun hits, seven torpedo hits, two incapacitations, Five ships destroyed, set four on fire, and caused flooding three times. Let's take a look at the team score. We came in top of the team with the five ships destroyed. Um, 1,055 XP. There's the two awards. So, yep, I have no idea how long this pink is going to stay on there. Aggravates me. But anyway, uh, we hit the Wyoming 16 times, sunk it. Hit the Wakataki 9 times, sunk it. Um, hit the South Carolina twice. Um, the St. Louis, the one shot. That was a ninja kill if ever I've seen one. Um, I've had some ninja kills before, but it was like a salvo. I don't think I've ever had one where just one round ninja the kill so yeah but hey you take the guns out of the fight whenever you get the opportunity that's how you get wins the clemson we hit 13 times and sunk it and the aurora we hit 12 times and sunk it oh yeah let's go back to the team score i mean the personal score yeah here we are so yeah the svetlana um it's a pretty um, decent ship. I love the torpedoes. Love the firing arc on the torpedoes. But uh, I must highly recommend, it's my own personal opinion, that you really, really need to get that last stand captain skill. Uh, the engine's knocked out so much on this ship. Um, I just I can't believe how often it happens. Um, so, yeah, I mean, do what you want to do, but that's just my personal recommendation. If you've liked this look at the Svetlana, hit that like button. If you didn't, don't. If you'd like some, to see more World of Warships from the Angry Nerd, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? It really helps the channel. But as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Nerd out.